when I came back to teach at UK, the students would ask me, you know, what are some differences between UK and MIT? Because they knew I'd been at UK as a student. I said, well, for one thing, when you walk through the student lounge on Monday morning, they're not talking about basketball. You know, they're not rehashing because, you know, Harvard loses to MIT. Nobody cares. Um, but the, they're talking about something different, to do something different. And the second thing is they didn't come to MIT expecting to work with somebody else all their lives. They think that sooner or later they'll get the skills that they'll start a business. But when I was a professor at UK, uh, I was called to the office by a new dean we had gotten because I had incorporated a company. I had six patents when I was at MIT, and I had gotten to know Amar Bose, right? At the time, he started his Bose Acoustics Company. I got to know Henry Kloss, who had started KLH and Advent, um, and I'd, I wanted to start a company, partly because 80% of the students I taught engineering to left the state or became bankers, and so some people figured it out. <laughs> uh, but... So he called me to his office, and he said, how in the world can you be a professor and, and have a company? And I said, well, if I was still at MIT and I didn't have a company, they'd be calling me to the office. Uh, 